hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here my name is temini i am an importation coach i teach people how to import from china how to buy from china and yeah if you're just watching me for the first time i would really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel please subscribe please like this video and watch this video i post educational content on china importation in this video i'm going to talk about how to import phones from china basically iphone samsung and the likes so i'm going to give a brief tutorial on how to import phones using 1688 my tutorial is going to be on how to import iphones on pindodo so this is an iphone i'm sure a lot of people don't know this iphone but this is a this is an iphone 5s that i imported from pindodo i got it from pindodo and i've been using it for a while now and it works perfectly like everything is working perfectly it's just that it has a line on it and you don't expect that from new phones you don't expect new for um old phones jerry you don't expect old phones to be perfect I like pindodo because pindodo you can see the reviews pindodo reviews are more detailed and more visible than 1688 1688 i don't know why it doesn't have a lot of reviews like pindodo so and pindodo has more phones than 1688 1688 you will find phones over it takes a while and you have to fire a ballet you have to sit down and do your research for you can get a good phone on 1688 but pindodo once you search for it you are definitely going to see it like as you are searching you'll be seeing phones you'll be seeing different options of the phone you want to buy a lot of people are buying phones from china right now and they are using it to do business a lot of people think that when you buy a phone from china it is fake it is chinese version and that's a lie it is not fake most of these phones are original iphones original samsung it's just people like me and you that use the phone and we want to sell it off i use that a phone i don't want it again i want to sell it off and there are some channels or some web um, suppliers that they sell used phones because you know as a business they sell it as a business most of these phones including shipping fee they are way cheaper than you find them in nigeria like 100k cheaper than you find them in nigeria especially now the rate is high you can ship these phones and get it within one week within one week you have gotten your phones give you a brief tutorial on things that you need you need to know before you import iphones from china and also how to import using pindodo first thing is things you need to import a phone from china number one you need a wechat account you need a wechat account a verified wechat account you can always send me a message or look for somebody online that can verify wechat for you they'll verify your wechat for you then you need pindodo account but your your wechat must be verified before you can log into pindodo because you need wechat to log into pindodo you get so you need a pindodo account you need a wechat account you need a verified wechat account and you need a shipping company that ships phone not just any shipping company you need a shipping company that ships iphones there are very few in lagos right now like the there is only one person i even know that is legit all the other ones i know they are using that one person to ship the phone you get dodo account wechat account and a legit shipping company that ships phone before you ship an iphone from china number one you need to know about phones you cannot be say you want to ship phone and you don't know the specifications you want to buy you don't know the questions to ask the supplier you don't know things like you need to know about phone why will you be buying phone a old phone and you don't know about phones you need to know about the true tone you need to know about face id you need to know about battery health battery health you need to know you need to ask the supplier if they have fixed that phone before if they have replaced the screen before if they have replaced the battery before is it unlocked or is it locked the phone might be locked that when you bring it to nigeria you have to go and unlock it is it factory unlock is it universal unlock is it um you know can you use any sim on the phone because there are some phones you cannot use sim card there are some phones you have to use e-sim most of these latest phones some of them is only e-sim you can use you cannot use a physical sim on them some of them their face id is not working in fingerprint so many things are not working on the phone so you need to ask these guys 
the questions so you need to message them and ask them questions about the phone so that is number one and number two is the shipping company that ships phone um you need to have a shipping company that ships phone to nigeria you cannot just use any shipping company because i don't think they are authorized to ship phones like let me give an example this phone that i got i shipped it to a shipping company that ships phone from usa that is Hiroshi. They ship one from the US. They ship from US and UK, I think. So I thought they would be able to ship from China. I even messaged them. I asked them, Do you ship from China? They said, Yes, they ship from China. I'm like, Okay, let me use you guys. After I sent the phone to them, they said they don't ship phones again. They are not authorized to ship phones. I was like, Why? So they, I had to give them the address of another shipping company. They had charged me a lot of 2,500 Naira to ship it to that shipping company before they, got, they now brought it to Nigeria. So you need to ask for a proper shipping company that ships phones to Nigeria to make it faster. The thing you need to know is the shipping duration. So for phones, they don't, ship, they don't take time to ship. The only thing that can make it longer is shipping the phone from your supplier to your shipping company so which can take like three to five days but once it gets to your shipping company and they ship it to nigeria it takes like three days to get to nigeria so let's just say like a week within a week of purchase the phone is already in your hand and also you must know if the phone is coming with accessories with box with things like that some of them they don't give you box they don't give you accessories they just give you the phone like that the shipping company i use they charge extra if your phone comes in a box with accessories so they will charge you extra this phone actually came with a box and accessories but the nonsense supplier forgot to send it together so i had to ship it separately i also have contact of people that sell phones i bought the contact and i've seen people using them i've not used them personally because I don't have my personal money to buy any phone yet but if you need the contact you can send me a message a lot of people that recommend them for me they are using those contacts it's just that me personally i've not used them if you need the contact it's just ten thousand naira. you can get the contact i'm going to give you like is it 18 18 contacts but there are two out of those 18 people that i can vouch for that these people are legit they sell they sell phones not two three actually three people that they sell phone and you can contact them on wechat whatsapp some of them have whatsapp you can connect contact them on wechat or whatsapp and get a phone it is very easy very nice and if you also need the shipping company address you can send me a dm everything is going for ten thousand naira. and yeah start buying phones from china even if you're not using it for business you save money by buying it for your own personal use so i hope this video was helpful if it was really helpful to you this is the best time to like and subscribe to this channel and i really appreciate it if you can share this video with your friends so they can also watch it and learn a thing or two so thank you for watching bye